All right, so let me keep going. I've already done a bunch of these uh, uh, offline, uh, but let me just uh, go back to where I'm going next. So I finished all the asset turnover. Let me let me redo the current uh, ratio. Um, I had done them all in, while I was offline, but let me just go back to make sure that you all know how to use this. So let me duplicate this as A um, and call this the current ratio right and so notice that this is looking at the asset turnover which is between 0 and 2.4 uh, as soon as I switch this it's gonna make a difference notice that I am now looking at the current ratio that's why I named it current ratio right when I close it it changes the dimensions completely right and now I can do continue to do the same duplicate this as current ratio data uh, let me put these together, the data with the asset turnover. So in essence, you're going to get 16 of these, eight different metrics with eight different data reports. Now that I have the ratio data, I can go into duplicating this as my uh, total assets, right? And so I would just have to switch this to my total assets. What is that I'm doing that super fast because I don't need to do this anymore because I've already done it and you know, I'm actually reflex this I have my filter as my group I have the corporation the color my corporation will stay as red my ticker company will be at the end and guess what my years are at the bottom everything looks wonderfully well and this means 28 uh, K in millions so that's 28 billion dollars in assets so who has the most assets Hilton and then after that now Marriott after 2015 it's possible that they must have sold some of its assets across uh, across different uh, lines so okay so having said that let's go ahead and do the total assets information by duplicating us across tab and that is just total assets notice this is just gonna be a um, it's just like having a pivot table again where you have you're pivoting the year against the corporation and the ticker isn't that lovely all right next thing instead of uh, total assets let me go back to our assignment real quick I have net income and then shareholders equity so let me go to net ink let me duplicate this as net income Yeah, do I did I could I do this in a different way? Absolutely, I could have done uh, just a bunch of um, labels like this, where I would have seen the growth. I would have liked them to be separated instead by uh, the corporation, and I would have liked them to be all together, if you will. So maybe this would have been nicer. But if I wanted to have um, all of these at the same at the same year, then I would have moved this ticker right to the right of my year and then I could see for 1999 this would be it right my net income in fact let me keep this net income uh, and my total assets as well to be uh, um, graphics where I keep the ticker to the side so I can compare them a little different just so you can see the difference and and I could have done it differently with bubbles instead where you can see the Hilton's and I, you know this is sometimes useful in the way that we represent data you can see the Marriott for 2017 but you will see that that it's not that it's not uh, very useful to show different years across a time series um, what else can can we see from here we can see this I think this would have been better um, but again, I would not want to see the, um, I would want to see this on the left uh, or maybe switching. I wouldn't want to see them all separated. So this is not really a good option. So again, let me bring it back to this and let's move the ticker to the right so I can see every year separate and I can compare the three different uh, chains together. This is, this is not very useful to me. Um, I guess uh, it is still a lot easier to um to do this and get rid of this sticker um let me move it to the left um, so it's up to you what you want to decide to show me i 
that's why I like the the lines better. It shows across time there's a line, but this would be just as well the total assets. So I'm gonna make that change only on the total assets and the net income. So here's the um, the total assets data, right? Corporation ticket, and then the net income, and then I can duplicate this as a cross tab. So that way I can have the data. Um, one of the things that I don't like is the ticker. So we would put it on the row instead. And that way it would be nicer, right? 1999, yes. Um, let me make sure that the uh, total assets data is represented the same way. Yes, and then income. Notice that I moved that ticker, right? That ticker would have been splitting up by each column. So think about your pivot tables and see how that, um, that change, moving this sticker to the top will separate every company by a different column and a different row. So that wouldn't make any sense. So that's why I brought it over to the rows. I wanna see the year on the top, right, on the column, and then the row displaying the corporation and the ticker only. In fact, I could even get rid of the ticker and it would not create an issue at all. So I may go back to this current ratio and get rid of the ticker as well, and that would be just fine. Uh, the total assets is in here, right? And my net income will be in here. Let me do the last one then, the shareholders equity. Let me duplicate this and get rid of this net income and call that shareholders equity, right? So you just have to be careful as you navigate through this because it's very easy to make a mistake and select something else, shareholders, um, equity, right? And then I can have the data duplicated as a cross tab just to finish. And that would be it. I got to, I got to get rid of that ticker again so that I don't have the problem with separated columns on top. I hope this made sense to everybody. I hope this made sense. Uh, I have a total of 16 different tabs, and then we're going to get to create some uh, nice dashboards, then a storyboard, and then we're going to wrap up this, this project and be done. Thank you so much for watching. Let me go ahead and put a stop.